Good evening, everyone. Once again, my name is Rudy Page and welcome to the Homeward Bound Creativity Show. Of course, celebrating Jamaica 60, reigniting a nation for greatest. And talking about greatest, I should say greatness, Steve Higgins from Steve Higgins Productions. Steve, how are you? Hey, Rudy. Wonderful. Thanks. How are you? Good to see you. Brilliant. We, we, we survived the pandemic. Yes, yes. We, we worked our way through. And of course, you, you were one of the stars in, in terms of last year's Reggae Month and the, the inauguration of Reggae Global and Culture. Absolutely. So yeah. That le legendary work that you did explaining Mento, that whole journey to reggae, yeah. the yeah. Education Day work that you did as well. Yes. So it's good stuff. Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. Yeah. No, I was re really pleased. So it's great that you're going to be back in the UK. It, yes. You know, you've got a couple of uh, tour dates. Your overall um, tour known as Love and, and Nostalgia. And uh, that's a, to, a gr great title. So I look forward to hearing, hearing more. But for, for those who don't know of you, Steve, just give us a quick background of your, of your work and, and, you know, who you are. Okay, absolutely. Um, Steve Higgins, yeah. um, tenor. Mm -hmm. I grew up in Morant Bay, St. Thomas. Um, and when I emigrated to Kingston to go to the College of Art, Science and Technology those days, yeah. um, I quickly became a member of the Jamaican Folk Singers, mm -hmm. internationally acclaimed and directed by the founding director, Dr. Olive Lewin. Mm -hmm. I sang with them for over 23 years. I also um, toured with the Jamaican Folk Singers a number of uh, countries. Um, the, and perhaps the most rewarding experiences that I've had were doing workshops on Jamaican folk music, okay. um, sharing with Jamaicans and non-Jamaicans mm -hmm. alike. And the, the interesting thing about that is that the interest mm -hmm. um, of, our, of, of the, the various audiences, especially the non-Jamaican audiences in Europe, in Central America, um, in, in England, mm -hmm. and all over the uh, Americas, um, people are the same everywhere. They, they laugh, they cry, they, they're, they're jealous, they, are, um, they work hard. And, um, and, and so there's so much we have in common that we find through the music. In Kingston, I also became a member of the Operatic Society, well, the Jamaica Musical Theatre Company, which is an offshoot of the Operatic Society. Then I became a director for my church, which was Providence Methodist Church in Kingston and the Saxot Methodist Church. I eventually emigrated to, um, to the USA 20 years ago, where I founded the South Florida Caribbean Chorale. I mean, I've done other things, like I was a director for MoneyGram International for the English, um, French, and Dutch Caribbean. Okay. And so I did a lot of tours to um, Holland, to France, to the UK, all over the UK. So it gave me quite a um, platform in a number of countries. Mm -hmm. But my passion is music and I'm a tenor. I yeah. do many genres, including songs from the shows. We do a lot of jazz. We do some yeah. classical music. We do island music. And of course, Jamaican folk music, yeah. which I think is what you want to hear, right, Rudy? Absolutely. <laughs> so in, um, you know, I spoke with our consul general down here in, I'm speaking to you from, from Florida, mm -hmm. Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And our Consul General, Oliver Mayer, I spoke with him last year about the significance of Jamaica 60, the 60th mm -hmm. um, anniversary of Jamaica's independence, mm -hmm. the Diamond Jubilee, that yeah, we call yeah. it. Yeah. And so we embarked upon a tour called the Diamond Jubilee Tour, mm -hmm. where we launched in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. We had um, our special guest was a mayor of um, Davy of the town of Davy, Mayor Judy Paul, and we had representatives of the Jamaica Tourist Board, representatives also of the Jamaican Consulate in Miami, um, and, and a number of other institutions, such as the um, Broward Center for the Performing Arts, the ICABA um, Networking Group, and a number of other um, folks were there. So from then, we took off from Florida to Texas, went to Houston, we did workshops on Jamaican folk music um, in Houston, 
um, including at Prairie View University, you see, we like to connect with the universities and with the schools and offer um, workshops at whatever level that we find our audiences. Um, indeed, I've been to Salford College in Manchester, and if you Google it, Salford College, Steve Higgins Productions or Workshops, you'll see that they're still in the press. Um, in the Cayman Islands, we did the University College of the Cayman Islands, um, and, and, and a number of other institutions in Germany, etc. But anyway, back to this year, we after Texas, we went to um, Alabama. So we did Birmingham, Alabama. Um, and we worked with the Birmingham Museum of Arts. They were our hosts, um, where I did um, a number of workshops for, uh, of, well, they're expecting a couple of thousand people um, as we um, headed out with Black History Month, which is celebrated. It's a federal holiday here in America. And that's how we started our, our Black History Month with, um, with workshops and a concert at the Birmingham Museum of Arts. And we also went to Huntsville, Alabama, where we did also um, concerts. And from then we shifted, went to New York, um, and we presented our concert in New York under the auspices of the concert general over there, Alcyon Wilson. Uh, she has invited us to come back because it's very, you, 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 it's very nostalgic and it's full of love. Yeah. And I was in North Carolina, just came back last night, mm -hmm. uh, where I shared with them with their gala. And we'll be back there later this year, um, both in Durham, which is close to Raleigh. And all, um, we're going to be at the, um, the North Carolina Central University. And down here, down further down in Charlotte, we'll be at the Central Piedmont um, 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 theater, theater, and that's going to be the 8th and the 9th of October. Certainly, we're going to be in West Palm Beach. We're also going to be in uh, in Orlando. Or we're going to be in Tampa. But just go onto our website, www.stevehigginsproductions.com, uh, and you'll see what we're doing and where we're going. And so the next step I make is um, to London. Tomorrow, I leave Fort Lauderdale. Okay. I'm, okay. And I'll, I'm in London for a concert on the 16th of July. That's this uh, weekend. This, this weekend <laughs> is going to be at the Holy Trinity Church, yeah. and that's going to be in South Kensington. Um, it's going to be at Prince Consort um, yeah. Road in South Ken. Right near the Jamaican High Commission. It's going to be under the auspices of the yeah. um, Jamaican High Commission, uh, High Commissioner to the United Kingdom, um, the Honorable George Ramakan, CD. And he welcomed the, um, the, the move that we're making to include um, London and Birmingham in the, um, the Steve Higgins Productions Diamond Jubilee Tour. And for that, we thank um, His Excellency, um, George Ramakan and the entire staff at the um, High Commission uh, for, for, for welcoming us and for you know, helping us to, to, to find our way both in terms of arranging workshops for educational institutions there and also um, lining us, aligning us with the Holy Trinity Church so that we can have this Saturday's concert. Now, yeah. this concert, Rudy, mm. I don't know if you've been to, no, perhaps you haven't been to any of my concerts out here, but it's, 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 it's not a feel-good thing. You're going to learn. A yeah. few yeah. You're going to feel good about some things. When I go to Germany, some of the Germans who don't even understand English, much less Patois, yeah. You know, they feel what we're talking about. I've, I've seen it online. About. I've seen, seen it online. Yeah. 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 And and it's very refreshing when you sing a song like Linstead Market. Yeah. You know, course. Linstead Market is not the happy go lucky carry me a go on Linstead Market, not a quacky what's it's not that. It's a lament. Yeah. You know, you 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 plant your crops, you reap them. Yeah. You take the, the sometimes dangerous trip to Kingston uh -huh. and the uh -huh. market, yeah. and and um, and you reach finally to the Carnation Market or or Linstead Market or Chiggerfoot Market or whichever market it is. And um, when it's Saturday night, yeah. so you remember you reach from Thursday and you know, set up yeah. and everything. So Friday is the beginning of your market day, and mm -hmm. most most country people go to market on a Friday. So Friday evening, you're selling, and then Saturday morning, you're selling. But you see, when Saturday night comes, Rudy, and you haven't sold anything, yeah. there's nothing happy about that, my friend. Of course. So when you say, Karmiyaki, go on, Linstead Market, 
not a quarty what sell. You understand? Yeah. It's a sad song. That, that you know? is sadness. So we're not going to funeralize the song, right? yeah. but I'm just telling people yeah. the real interpretation yeah. of the music is in the lyrics, right? And in the dynamics and the nuances of each of our songs. And, and interesting and, to say, to, just to, to make a point to what you're saying, because we always talk about the message in the music. Of, of course. And, and then what you're doing, you're, I can see the dual role. So there's cultural continuity, which is excellent, but also there's cultural enlightenment for those who may not understand the culture, but yes. of course, understand the feeling behind that because yes. that would go across all cultures. So I, I yes. think it's an excellent way to communicate as well. Yes, absolutely. And, and, and you know, it, it comes to the section, it comes to the section where you have all the children are waiting on mother or father to come back with the cash yeah. to buy yeah, whether right. it's it's a toy or food yeah. or a pencil or you know whatever for school mm. and there's one verse that goes ali pigni dem a linga linga the way the woman no bring ali pigni dem a linga linga the way the woman no bring and it goes, Lord, what a night, not a bite, which is so Jamaican. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, Lord, what a night. You know, what a Saturday night. Yeah. You know, so 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 that will come out in all of the songs that we're doing. And 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 in, in terms of the songs, I, I did a piece with on your program regarding mento, mento yeah. music, mm -hmm. and mento being a, 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 a music form from Africa mm. um, is a foundation of all Jamaica's modern music, mm. you know, so the reggae rock, the ska, the rock city, the lovers rock, you know, the, the dance hall, reggae, etc. It's it's Vento is the basis of all of that. Mm. And I will that will come out in our um in, in our show as well. Um and 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 so the different messages mm. will come out and 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 it will show a few things. You know, sometimes these days when you're investigating maybe forensic investigation they say follow the money yeah i have a new one follow the music yes, because yeah. the music will tell us who was here yeah. yeah there's a jamaican folk song for instance rudy called salo mm -hmm. right which means shalom yeah. that tells you who was here yeah Shallow, some are by one yard, some are by two yard, some are by half a yard. Oh, shallow. So that's saying they're selling cloth, they're mm -hmm. selling material. Yeah. Some buying one yard, some buying two yards, some buying half a yard. Mm -hmm. You know, shalom. Mm -hmm. And the next verse is Mushe Akomya. What does Mushe mean? Mm -hmm. Mushe means Moses. Okay. Who was Moses? Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, so it talks about the Jewish yeah. um, uh, heritage in Jamaica. Yeah. Yes. Steeped in Jamaican folk music. Now, again, how interesting is that? Yeah, it, it's excellent because, again, it's weaving through the culture. Yes. It shows it, the relationships so were there. It's intricately interwoven. Yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah. And then you have different songs about agriculture. Mm -hmm. Tell me some Mac Figo plant cocoa. Tell me some Mac Figo plant cocoa. Tell me some Mac Figo plant cocoa. Oh, Fipans are caught for flower. Fipans are caught for flower. That yeah. means flower is too expensive. Go yeah. plant your cocoa and eat what you plant. Yeah. You understand? The sign you know? of the times now as well. Sign of the time. But listen, it's, it's, it's hundreds of years ago. Yeah. These songs that weren't written yeah. yesterday. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And um, tell me some Mac Figo dig yam hill. Right, and they have another one. Come, we go the mountain. Come, we go the mountain. Come, we go the mountain. We go the cocoa finger, and it goes bush a wife and all, then teach a wife and all, pass a wife and all. It points out to the fact that it's a community event. Yeah. All right, and so there's no shame in agriculture. There's mm -hmm. no shame in planting because the leaders of the communities are all involved in it. Yes, of course. You know, and, and that and, sharing, uh, that sharing again, isn't it? That absolutely, absolutely. Of... You know, um, I, I, I also turn to Manual Road. Mm. 
you know, a lot of people go, go down the manual road, gallon boy, pick a rock, rock stone. Go down the manual road, gallon boy, pick a rock, rock stone. Brock them one by one, gallon boy, brock, right? Mm -hmm. And while some people, thankfully, know the, the, the song Manual Road, mm -hmm. a lot of them don't know the story behind it, you know? The, 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 the it was rhythm backbreaking being, work, wasn't it? Backbreaking work. It was backbreaking work, you know, from Morad Bay driving to Kingston. Yeah. Yeah. I saw ladies and men as well sitting on these big rocks, sedimentary rocks, and yeah. breaking down the stone to make marl to pave the roads, yeah. you know. And so they made sure that by singing in the backbreaking, while doing the backbreaking work, um, they sang to make the work lighter. Yeah. Yeah. And so we made a game out of it. You know, and I'll be, and, and that's one of the things that I teach in, in, in the workshops and the kids enjoy it, mm -hmm. you know, whether it's a university or at a, um, a primary or all age school, they all enjoy it. And there are songs that involve the youth um, involvement. We depending on, in, depended on each other rather than on a cell phone or a tablet or anything like that. And so everybody got the respect, everybody got recognition everybody felt a part of you know and so and so people were happy during those days because we depended on each other no absolutely actually as you're speaking it brings me to mind next year is the diamond jubilee for the windrush generations there you go the windrush leaving jamaica it left round about the 24th of may yes 1948 arrived yes. here in on the 22nd of June, and then they were let out on the 23rd of June. Right. And there's something again about that journey and what, what might they have sung, those pioneers. Our best known is uh, Sam King, there's John Richards and, and others. And I'd right. be interested to get your perspective on that for next year, because it, it will actually be a major celebration in this country, mm -hmm. given the contribution and sacrifice that Jamaicans and, and others have made as it right. relates to being in this country. Right. And, you know, uh, hope is contagious, as they say. So all those young you know, people. I, 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 I believe yeah. that, um, th that we will be very plugged into those activities. Yeah. Um, because there are those of the Windrush lineage who have relocated here in America, who have exactly. relocated in, um, in Jamaica, et cetera. And so, and a lot of us are related to them. Yeah. So because it happened then and there, it doesn't preclude the wonderful uh, relationships yeah. and the stories that make us a part of that whole experience. I, I, you, you can't know? forget about children of the Windrush generations, such as myself and, and grandchildren, exactly, such as exactly. my children as exactly. well. Again, we're, going, we're getting back to that cultural continuity. Right. Yeah. And, and, and there, there are a lot of songs, you know, mm -hmm. you, you asked the first question about what kind of music you'll be thinking about. I dare say that every facet of Jamaican life mm -hmm. is covered by a song, a folk yeah, song. Of course. And readily I can think of the, 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 the man or the woman who left their loved one behind. And there's a folk song that epitomizes that it goes, my company is going far and I am left alone. My company is going far and I am left alone. My company, my company, my company is going far. You know, right. that's excellent. Here's another test for you, which I know you will pass. Yes, uh, we we promote the Windrush anchor. We yes. have, to have a life size replica of it. Yes, and Dr. Lola Ramakan, who I know yes. you know very well, I can very well. Life, yes, she said to me the other day, Rudy, why don't you think about the anchor? Will your anchor hold in the storms of life? If you think of that, and and I would have thought that that is a great song hymn, but really again. Uh, exemplifies young people leaving their country for a long time and what is the anchor absolutely. culture absolutely culture, culture is the anchor through the storms of life 
I'm as impressed exactly that, as you've been saying. You know? Yes, yes, yes. But I'm impressed that you know that song, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's, that, that, that's really impressive. William, yeah. anchor holds, holding the storms of life. Yes, yes. Yeah. We have an anchor that keeps the soul steadfast yeah. and sure while the billows roll. Fastened yeah. to the rock which cannot move. Grounded firm and deep in the Savior's love. There you go. Right. There you go. So I'm commissioning you to do a special for us for, yes. for Windrush 75 okay. so that we can use that as the song yes. for Windrush because the, there's actually a project led by Patrick Vernon to actually raise the anchor from the Windrush ship. So it went down, it's at the bottom of the Mediterranean, there was a fire. And uh -huh. so it's actually a project to bring that anchor back to the UK. Yes. And I was fortunate through a colleague of his called Max Holloway yes. to actually acquire the actual replica of the anchor itself. Wonderful. And it's a cardboard. But it's the symbolism, as you know, yes. in terms of the culture and the stories that go around it and the art forms yes. that go around it as well. Yes. So um, you're, you're on. You're on. I've accepted the challenge. Yeah. And, um, yeah. and it, it will come. Yeah. It will come. And, and you know, I'll, I'll tell the Windrush generation mm. that, um, you know, perhaps we, we, we might get more, more, more musicians in, in on it as well. Mm. Um, we may get more stories, poetry, um, plays yeah, yeah. on it I, as well. No, I, I think it's important because I don't want to get too biblical, but somewhere in he Hebrews, it, there's something about the warning of leaving the place from where you come from. Right. Because you may have to come back one day. Yes. So it's yes. to be careful, you know, yes. what you think about what you left. Because yes. one day you may need to come back. Yeah. No, that is true. That and is that's true. happened to the Windrush generations. In Pardon terms. me? That has happened to, to the Windrush generations oh, yes. as it relates to the Windrush scandal. Right. Yeah. So right, right, right. Nature is very important. Very and, and, important. and, you know, in, in addition to that, and I'll do some research mm. in terms of music um, around that time, but I know, for instance, another place that Jamaicans um, um, left for work, yeah. Um, Panama. I'm glad you mentioned that because if you think of again the sacrifice mm -hmm. for the Pan Panama Canal, mm -hmm. I've always wondered why there, there isn't a, a greater cultural message coming down really the Panama Canal. And the thing about it, you know, remember earlier on I spoke about when you follow the money, I tell you to follow the music. Yeah. One, two, three, four, call on mana come. One, two, three, four, call on mana come. One, two, three, four, call on mana come. With him brass chain a licking belly, bam, bam, bam. Where do you think Colon is? Panama. Really? Colon is in Panama. Okay. And that's a Jamaican folk song that a lot of people grew up listening to. Yeah. Right? And, um, and there's a story around that too. When the, when the Jamaicans went to Panama to work, of course, if you know anything about a Jamaican, you can't go overseas, work some big money and come back and <laughs> don't look like you've been abroad. So you have to wear the bling, you have to dress up in your suit. Yeah. So some of them came back in three piece suits, yeah. you know, yeah. and the thing at the time back then was a, a pocket watch. You yeah. know, the pocket watch you take out and you see the time and put it on. And the pocket watch is connected to your waistcoat by a chain. Yeah. you know mm -hmm. but a lot of people a lot of them could not afford the watch mm -hmm. but they could afford the chain <laughs> right so they used to laugh at them if you know jamaicans you know anybody who trying to to pretend that to be what they're not you're gonna get laughed at seriously yeah. so it they said they come back with only the chain <laughs> because you ask them for the time mm. they don't pull out a watch they look upon the sun to approximate the time so the next verse is, I ask him for the time and he look up on the sun, right? So that is one of the songs from Panama. Um, and then there, there's another one, um, all of the, that the women used to sing. All of my Sunday day clothes in a cursing pan and the man in Cologne so far away. 
And my man doesn't treat me like he used to do. You know, the, the, the name of the song is All of my Sunday day clothes in a cursing pan, in a cursing pan, right? And it mentions Colon as well. So there are a number of songs that mention Panama, you know. Yeah. Uh, what a what please try a girl like Fanny. What a what please try a girl like Fanny. Funny oh, what a what please try a girl. What a what please try a girl. What a what please try a girl like Fanny. Fanny left him picnic on a Panama. See that? Yeah, yeah. So, so we 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 have the songs. Um, we we have the songs, and 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 there are more. Right, right. So we'll we'll be looking so, out for that. So we'll be sharing. Well, I'll be sharing some of that. Yeah. Um, um right. this this coming Saturday again is going to be the 16th of July, um, starting sharp at six o'clock. It's going to be at the um, the Holy Trinity Church, yeah. Prince Consort Road, and that's um, in South Kensington, Central London. Mm -hmm. And the to, for, for for in more information, please log on to um, eventbrite.com and just look for love and nostalgia again love and nostalgia or you can go on to my website stevehigginsproductions.com and if you need extra information just send me an email through the contact us tab um, tab on the website so and also for tickets you can call this number it's 07555-634-503 again 07555-634-503. Tickets are 20 pounds each, and there is a VIP section for 25 pounds. Um, and so that is this Saturday. Part proceeds are gonna be towards the Partners for Youth Foundation, and also the STEP Center for Children with Multiple Disabilities in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. So we have um, adopted, we have a partnership with the STEP Center. Yeah. Um, the principal, um, Hilary Sherlock, um, give a good big shout out to um, Hillary, Hillary Sherlock, who is actually the niece of Sir Hugh Sherlock, who yeah, wrote the lyrics to the National Anthem of Jamaica. Exactly. I was going like, to ask you about that. But that Sherlock name is... Exactly. Her, uh, and also, um, she's the daughter of um, Sir Philip Sherlock. Mm -hmm. um, so it's going to be at the Holy Trinity Church, Prince Consort Road, um, South Kensington, London, SW7. 2BA. Is it a B or E? Yeah, 2BA. Yeah. And for those folks in, so, and that's this Saturday. That's the, this Saturday in London. In London. Yeah. And uh, of course, for um, next week, Friday, I've been invited to take part at the, at the Birmingham Fest. And this is going to be at the Crescent Theatre. Um, again, it's Love and Nostalgia, um, celebrating Jamaica 60. So um, you just look at the, the, the Crescent, just Google, I think it's crescent-theater.co.uk. That is a website. Again, it's crescent-theater.co.uk. Um, and um, sorry, crescent-theater.co.uk. And tickets are still available for the Friday, the 22nd of July. And um, I think it starts at seven o'clock, seven o'clock sharp. Um, and so there'll be music, there'll be explanations, um, and there'll be edutainment. Edutainment is edutainment. Excellent, ex excellent uh, way to to transmit culture through the yes. generations. And and and, 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 and all this is, is under the auspices of the Jamaica's High Commissioner, yeah. um, His Excellency George Ramakan CD. Um, uh, the High Commissioner for Jamaica to the UK, and um, and we thank the High Commissioner again mm -hmm. and his staff and his office for being so very supportive uh, for, 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 for this tour. It's all endorsed by the Ministry of Culture in Kingston, Jamaica, and the Jamaica 60 Secretariat, and also by the Consul General, General of Jamaica to um, South Florida, Oliver Mayer. So we'll be, when we come back, we'll be doing a lot more states in the USA, uh, which are under the uh, purview of Oliver Mayer, Consul General. And then we go to the Caribbean. And then we're going to go to Panama. Good. <laughs> Excellent. So just quickly before you go then, Steve, is that uh, um, if people wanted to find out more in terms of 
your workshops and how they're delivered and you know what you know the terms of you know bringing you on board could you just quickly say something yes. about that certainly um thanks to the high commission in london we have received um uh, and levels of interests from various parties in the uk um there, there are two things that you can do one Keep checking the website, um, stevehigginsproductions.com. But more importantly, if you'd like us to bring a, a, a workshop mm -hmm. to an organization, mm -hmm. whether it's a club, a school, a church, mm -hmm. wherever you have kids, wherever have anybody um, interested. And it's not only Jamaicans. No. It's not only folks from the Caribbean. You know, anywhere. Yeah. Once you're in the UK, there's going to be a mix. Pardon? <laughs> Once you're in the UK, there will be yes. a mix of people. And, and this is what we want, because, yeah, because cool. folks, we, we know that music is a uniter. Mm. Yeah, you know, we have cultural so many... understanding between people, neighbours. Oh, yeah, like absolutely. Is, is absolutely. Really there, there are a lot of man-made barriers. Yeah. Music is an equaliser. Yeah. And, um, and we look forward to, to having um, multiple ethnicities in our con in our um, audiences, mm -hmm. and we'll stop. We'll, we'll stop to explain, yeah. and we'll have a lot of fun. Yeah. And it's going to be interactive. It's going to be participatory, mm -hmm. you know. And it's going to be a memorable and an unforgettable experience that will take you to the full gamut of your emotions. Right. Trust me on that. Right. It's going to be very meaningful. And so we look forward to having you all there again. Um, it's going to be this, this Saturday in London yeah. um, at 6 o'clock p.m. Um, at the Holy Trinity Church, Prince Consort Road, South Kensington, London. And then next week, Friday, uh, the 22nd of July, at uh, the Crescent Theatre in Birmingham. So we look forward to having you there. Again, log on to stevehigginsproductions.com or eventbrite.com and you'll see the information. And remember, just go on to the Contact Us tab on the website once you're on stevehigginsproductions.com and you'll be able to send us a note to say, hey, can you reach out to us? I'll call you, I'll email you, we'll be in touch with you and I'll gather, I'll, you know, I guarantee you that we will meet when I arrive in London tomorrow, well, the day after tomorrow. Yeah, right? thank you. Thank you very much, Steve Higgins, the 21st century cultural ambassador for Jamaica. Thank you so much, Rudy. You're very kind. Thank you. Good. And good night.